What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Town Hall episode 85. Mr. Bill. Hey, what's How going on? Not too much. We had an exciting day at the office. Yeah, no, but now we're here. We want to tell everyone what came in today? No. Okie dokie. Well, what do you want to start with? Um... What do I want to start with? I don't know. Um, no, we did. Storm of Steel's out. Bismarck is out. I think he's talking about you, Mr. Bill, with this. No, he's talking about you. Uh, I don't think well, so. Look, I got like a baby's ass today. I <laughs> shaved. Man, I he'll be months. talking about you. No, no way. Oh, come on. What were you saying? And Shoots Troopa did a Kickstarter. So I think the next game, I think when, um, like I said, the we still haven't gotten our um, shipment yet. Because it's still held up. Okay, but it's going to be Burning Banners, then Atlantic Sentinels. And then Shoots Trooper or Aaron Armor. So those are the next three. Let me to pull up the release schedule from the website hey it's your show i'm just on here you're the <laughs> you're it's your show you're the moderator or moderator or... Uh, i don't know if that's true you're the one on every week let's see here share screen all right oh yeah look so here's what we got. Burning Banners, Selenic Sentinels, like you said, Aaron Armor. Yep. And that's going to be the next Kickstarter. Yeah, yep. And we got Shoot Troopa, Flanks of Gettysburg, Breaking the Chains, Zeppelin Raider, Victory at Sea, and then Last Gamble. Yeah, that looks like we got a good upcoming release schedule. Things are going good. Um Everybody's doing a good job, and Brittany's going to have a baby pretty soon, so we won't see her for months. <laughs> okay, so we've been trying, so she's trying to do as much as she can before she goes on on maternity leave. Yep. Okay, but that that's going to, um, so that's going to slow the process down a little bit, but it really doesn't matter on the release schedule. Yeah, no, um. Yeah, there's no pay later for breaking the chains. Because it's coming out, and yeah. So no pay later for that. I don't know if we're doing Kickstarter for those two, are we? Did we ever decide if we're doing that? For breaking the chains? Yeah. I don't know if we decided, no. I thought we were going to do like a small one. I think six days was the last idea we had. Yeah, I don't think we've really decided. Yeah, I think a short one for that, and then what was the other one that had a short one? Zeppelin Raider? Yeah. Oh, yeah, when when I say things are going good, I already have in there that there are things that are going bad. Okay, it's just, uh, it, it just um, that you net it out and it's going good. But not saying that things haven't, that we haven't had some, hiccups this week with some things that we were able to fix. So um what's an old flanks of Gettysburg cover? We don't have the new cover. That looks like what we've got on the in in that this cover. Bruce said that's an old cover. I think so. It looks like it to me. Let me check the files. Hang on. Well, you have one in your shelf, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's the wrong cover. <laughs> well, let's get the cover. Yeah, let's yell at John for that. Oh, absolutely. This is the new one. Oh, it is very different. Yeah. Okay, well, if John isn't at a hockey game tonight, <laughs> okay, send him that now so he can post it. 
Uh, I love oh, Bruce Yearing was right. What a shock. What a shock is that we see so many games in the that we couldn't tell that that wasn't it. <laughs> it looked right to me. Yeah, it had that right, Bill. It had yeah, that gray and look. Hey, come on in here, young yeah, fella. Yeah, here. There he is. Got to have Bill come in. So good for um, Mr. Bruce on that. So what else? Um, I don't know what else we got in there. I think we'll look at some questions if people have questions. And All right. Let's see here. I'm not seeing any questions yet. No, we can go over the GDW games. Well, that's your call. Oh, all right. I'll give you guys a quick update on uh, all the GDW games that we have either in progress or coming out or close to coming out. First, we have uh, Chaco. That one is at the printer. Uh, everything's done. Everything's been approved. So they're oh, just yeah. printing it, and eventually they're going to ship it to us. What's that, Mr. Bill? Nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, you want to see it? Is that it? Yeah. I thought we... As I say, thought you had a sheet that you were going to I thought we had a sheet where we were going to... Oh, no, no sheet. Not a sheet, but your thing online. What thing online? Yeah, like like uh your list online, then you could just show you could share screen. That's where he was at. That's what he thought. Oh, you want to do a different list just for GDW? Yeah, right. That's what you. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have the list of GDW games, and we could see it on the screen on where they were in the process. Yeah. Oh. I can have that for next time, but right now I don't have a list. Oh, so I guess that's not it. So okay. we'll scrap that idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, the command magazines were still going through. Um, that hopefully was going to be next, but I guess we'll have to wait for Julian. That will be on the target after two weeks because we'll go through GDW Julian next time and then command the time after. Well, it won't be for like two months. Yeah, it won't be, but we're um, – right, Julian? Right. Tricorn, any more possible Tricorn games? Um, yeah, no, because there were no more Revolution ones that the designer wanted to do. We were in the process of talking to him about doing more Jacobite, bigger battles. So Jacobite, there might be some bigger battles. And, um, and Julian's going to reach out to the designer this week or next week and see if he... If that's a possibility, because we talked about it a couple years ago. Yeah, GDW did not include any of the Euro Europa games. Nope, hope for an improved camera angle. I thought it was good. <laughs> I thought we were doing better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better than years ago. <laughs> When it was just the forehead, no eyes or anything. Yeah, Tokyo Express. Um, John Southard, we we have talked about this. Um, I talked. To, he, we emailed like at the beginning of the year, and we were going to set up a phone call, but I guess he got busy or whatever, and it's never happened. But I think the next game is Carrier the Redo. Okay, of the first that. Um, coincides with the system of the second one we released. And then Tokyo Express is going to be remade too. But I don't know what... Yeah, I haven't... Um, yeah, I, I haven't really... I have to reach out to him again and find out what's going on. But um, yeah, I know he's got another one. Tokyo Express is going to be redone. I just don't know when. What else we got? We got um, just got Storm of Steel. Was the counter designed for Shoots Trooper by original designer or someone else? Original game designer. Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't understand that question. I'd probably say it was, wasn't it? 
Yeah, no, he passed away. But, yeah, he was – those were – the counters were done, like, a long time ago. So the designers always have input in the, um, in the artwork. So I would say that um, the counters have been worked on a long time ago. So those are really his – counters i would think what else we got um doing moves combat three coming no combat three is again something that fell into the um britney's reviewing it but with her um i know she went through her first pass but once maternity leave comes that's going to delay that. So I, I think that's what that's going to happen sometime in next um, next year. Okay, he, meaning did Dennis Bishop design them, or was it left to those who followed? No, they were just no. What, yeah, Dennis was involved in all the components. Okay, the game was really almost done. Okay, when sadly Dennis passed. So um, I would say just some, yeah, the game. So, yeah, he had input into the map. He had input into, he worked with Bruce, I think, was the artist on that. So he had input into all that. How long before? How, oh, they're talking about the command stuff. Yeah, no, that <coughs> command has um command has what though? Um, in a couple weeks. Yeah, command is gonna be we have to decide which ones we're doing, so we have to run that. We're gonna run a survey, we have like four or five that are gonna be part of that, and then we have to get it done. So I don't I don't see command coming on until next year. Um any Wow. Any chance for combat in the Pacific? Um, no, no, uh, no. The designer, and this goes back to the system designer, Ross Montel, said it doesn't work in the Pacific. So, I no, we're never going to do a Pacific. Well, never is never, but okay. Okay, um, the combat designer did not think, hey, that's why it's just said. Hey, Dudley repeated what I just said. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. If, very good. If I didn't repeat it, I think we were doing it at the same time, so it was like kismet. If the Kickstarter for Shoot Slipper has ended, when can we expect to be able to, the product for sale? When you mean for sale, I assume you mean released. Because it's it should be on, I'll have to make sure, but it should be for sale now on the website. But if not, it will be for sale. I'll check it and we'll... Make it active um, today or tomorrow. What else we got? Oh my God, I, these are coming pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, somebody said, I don't understand why combat won't work in the Pacific. And I, as all I can tell you is, um, that was the designer's take on it, and I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna um, really. He's the designer, so, and I'm not saying it couldn't work. I'm just saying he didn't think it was gonna work. So I defer to that expertise. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, um, Expo. Attendee total is around 55. Okay, it's picked up in the last week. So we'll probably we're on track probably to do all said and done. We're probably on track to have about 111, 112, same as last year for the expo. For the spring. Okay. Um, yeah, it's never for some reason the spring isn't as um well attended as the fall. The fall got what, like 164 last year? Mm -hmm. But who knows? You know, it all can, everything can't always work the way you want it to work. 
spring is still yeah, new. Uh, what, Julian? The spring expo is still very new. Yeah, but it should have caught. This is the second year, so I should see an uptick, and I think we're just going to average out of what it was last year. I don't think we're seeing any uptick. Well, if anyone hasn't signed up yet, sign up now. Yeah, and it, it, remember, we got another two months to go. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. And it also falls on Armed Forces Day this year. Oh, yeah. Did we change the expo title? The title. Yeah, because. John was supposed to do that because we do we do it over Veterans Day weekend. Yeah. Okay, but for the fall, but here we need to say it's over Armed Forces Day weekend. Yeah, I'm not sure if he sent out the email yet, but I think he was planning on it. No, but he needs to. I think he needs to. Yeah, it should be in here too. Yeah. Yeah, so that um, because it's Armed Forces weekend, so it's got that military theme to it. Yep, that's Saturday. Age of sale. <clears throat> okay, what are we doing? Any status of yeah, no, it's at the printers of Jutland. Jutland Fleet Air Admiral is at the printers. Okay. Yep. Um yeah, hang on. Okay. For Jutland, I've also seen the proofs for those, so that's uh it's making progress at the printers. It's been there for a little while now. Okay. Ah, see, mine was wrong. Okay. What else we got? Any news on Steel Wolves? Yeah, the project is John's in charge of that project, and it's going to the artist like in the next couple weeks. So Steel Wolves will be out again. Age of sale is a subject that has not been touched by compass. I thought we did, and I thought we did age of sale. Wasn't that um sovereign of the seas? Isn't that age of sale? That was a long time ago. That was one that's probably a long time ago. But I don't even think we have any. We have Lord of the Seas, which you're gonna show that tonight. Didn't we talk about that? Lord of the Seas and Storm of Steel is what I'm gonna show. Yeah, Lord of the Seas is not Age of Sail. That's ancient stuff. Yes. Yep. Okay, what else we got on this? I'm looking. What is the latest on Sea Power of the State and Road to the Rhine? Sea Power of the State is actually all done. Yep. Actually in the warehouse, so we just have to find time in the schedule. Um, road in, road to the Rhine is actually in Brittany's queue to review, correct? Yes, it is. But again, she's going on on maternity leave, so that um, I, I sound like a broken record with that. So that really puts that a little behind. So what else we got? Um, yeah, we got a pirate game, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess that would be Age of Sail. I don't know. The new pirate game coming out? Yeah. Golden Age of Piracy? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess that would be Golden Wait, Age of Sail. What Age of Sail is based off of what? Like 1700s. Oh. 1700s, 1800s or so whatever. That's not the one we playing. No, Lord of Seas is ancient. Yeah. Um, What else? Um, Storm of Steel, yeah. People are getting that and liking it. Um, there was one there, so but burning banners is delayed until well, I, I think it's April 15th, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, so that's pretty neat. And we, um, what else? Everything else is going good. Oh, 16th, 19th century. So I was. I was off a little bit on age of sale, but oh, yeah, you're close, though. yeah, it was a no time period though. You were in the range, yeah. Yeah. I, so, um, if you want to take a break from questions, I threw together a little GDW small chart, so you have something to look at. Yeah. Yeah. So now you can go. Russia, nineteen forty-four is still in limbo. Okay. Now we're gonna go to Julian and go over our GDW a lot of stuff. All right. This was very hastily thrown together, so it's not. Nothing, nothing to be impressed about, but I'll throw it up here. 
I don't see it. Okay. So we have Chaco. Chaco is at the printers. That I reviewed the proofs. I approved the proofs. So that should be coming on the next shipment. Uh, the Great Patriotic War. All the final artwork for that has been turned in. So that's going to be going to the printers very soon. Russo-Japanese War, that's in artwork, but that's in the final stages. We're just finishing up the map and the box files. And then that is going to be going to the printers as well. Road to the Rhine. Like Bill said, the artwork's been turned in. But that is in Brittany's queue for reviewing everything. So that one's going to be a little while before it actually goes to print. World War II campaigns, that one's been released and out for a little while now. Belter, that is the next one that our artist Tom is working on. So he started artwork on that pretty recently. And then there's Burma, which is shipped and is in that same shipment as Burning Banners. It's going to be coming here. Middle oh, of okay. Anything so, missing there, Bill? Well... Russia, Japanese, that's taken a long time. I'm not happy about that, but are it's we almost, almost done with that? Very close, yes. Okay. So at the printers, we've already seen proofs on that one. Okay, so that's our GDW list. And so that seems to be pretty good. So we got a lot of games, and once we get these done, I think there's two more. Isn't there two more? Yep, there's Suez. This group? Suez is another one. And uh, White Death, was that the other one? Oh, yeah, White Death. So, yep. um, no, World War II campaigns did well. Okay, it's what we expected. Okay, um, and like I said, if we if it didn't do well, we wouldn't say, um, yeah, we wouldn't say, um, yeah. I, I think shipped is the wrong word for Burma. It's shipped to us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not shipped to. Yeah. Shipped to us. Yeah. Yes. Burma is being shipped to us. This is an internal update that we're sharing with you. And what me and Julian found out is we went to Board Game Geek on Belter, and there was a lot of stuff with Belter that we thought would be good to be added in. Like they had solitaire stuff, they had some good charts. So we're contacting those people. As best we can. Yep. Okay. Um, to see if we can throw those variants and everything in the game. Yes. To see if we can throw those variants in the game. Yeah. Um, yeah. The breaking the chains too is just a straight reprint with updated, um, updated right. graphics and stuff like that. It's not a new game. So it's not like um, it's just updated stuff. And I think um, we put the rat in, we put the um, supplement counters in. But yep. there's nothing really technically new about the game, right? It's no, just the, rule, the rule book is in color now. Um, yeah, it's just updated stuff. It's not anything. Some of the but scenarios no, that were. Uh, Done yeah, later. we didn't change we didn't change the artwork. No. Okay, it's just the same artwork that was on the original breaking the chains. So that was good. Yeah. But the quality of the components will be a lot better since that game was done yes. so long ago. So the counters will feel and look a lot better. But and like we like we said, command will have um an update on which of the five we're gonna and then we're going to put it online for the um, people to vote. And we'll see which ones we are, we're going to do with command. Yep. And then White Death and uh, Suez. He's also going to start working on those simultaneously as I approve some Belter stuff that he sends me. So hopefully those are going to get moved along too as Belter gets moved along. Yeah, all the GDWs are really straight reprints with errata. We're not changing the games um, on any of them, okay? Um, like I said, with Belter, there were some good things online that we'll throw in there as optional. But we're not um, 
Yeah, those games are just old classics that are being brought back. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then, Bill, we're ready to go to um, print on Grand Army of the Republic. Right? Julian's going to get those files. Yep, that was turned in. Yep, so that's going to go to print. Um, and there's been quite a few changes. That is not a straight reprint. No. Okay, that's been really the designer did some things. It's more solitaire friendly. Um, he added some stuff, took some stuff out. So I would say that that Grand Army of the Republic is not a reprint. Yay. Um, Mr. Lincoln's War is moving right along, right? I think they're working on the rules. No, that, that's, that's done. I, I only get the copy. Yeah, so Mr. Lincoln's War is going to go to print pretty soon. Okay, and that's going to be a big game because that's, that um, has both games in it. Now, that's a straight reprint. Um, with, and when I say straight re reprint, we add the Rata stuff. And that didn't get a lot of love back in the um, 1980s. It got, because um, I think at the time it came out, Victory came out with their Civil War game. And it sort of got pushed aside. But it's a great game. We, It's based, Mark McLaughlin, it's based on the war, war and peace system a, a little bit, the Napoleonic. So that's coming out. And I think we're doing two... We're doing two full mounted maps on that one, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's crazy. So that looks good. Um, Greg Smith is working on all his um, games like he always is. So what you got, Julian? Oh, I think we got an update here. Arms Forces is mentioned on the Expo site, so that's good. Oh, let's see it. Uh, let's see here. Because it wasn't there two seconds ago. So uh, an elf no, is there, a leprechaun. <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you. All right here, celebrate the hobby with us on Armed Forces Weekend. Ah, oh, see that one there a minute ago. And uh, the lepre the compass leprechaun got in there and changed it. <laughs> oh, that... Um, yeah, so that's good news. Okay, um, what else? There was something else. Um, hmm. oh, got a question about months. Yeah, no, that is actually. Doesn't Brittany have that one too? No, that was yeah. ready to go to print. I thought. I think she was just wrapping up. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to print. So yay with that. There's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Anymore. Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's see. I can show my two games that I'm going to show. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so let's start with uh, Storm of Steel, since that one's just been released. So yeah, Mr. Link yeah, let me Mr. Lincoln's War. Okay. The rivers are not in the middle of the hex yeah. anymore because we changed that because that was ridiculous. But um, so they're gonna be on the hex sides in Mr. Lincoln's War with okay. This is the game we re just released. Yep, and this program quit on me earlier, so we'll see how this goes, but so for the best. So this is Storm of Steel. Here's the box cover. Here's the back of the box. See the component list there. Mounted operations map, two counter sheets, whole bunch of cards. Yeah, nothing showing up. It's frozen on ours. Oh, what the heck? Hang on. No, we can do. Just show it. Yeah, don't grab it. I don't know, dude. <laughs> that would work too. No, maybe you didn't give it to me. I don't know, dude. You just like I need this again. <laughs> All right, now to see the back of the box? Yeah. All right, so here's the back of the box. 
component lists, got the mounted operations map, some cards, actually a lot of cards, player aids, log sheets. It's a solitaire game. Oh, so why doesn't... Well, I went to the map on my screen, but it's not changing on that one. What happened? Eh, it froze again. Well, go with Lord of the Seas then. I think I might have the same problem with that. Let me try this. This one I've spent two hundred forty dollars a month on. Yeah, nothing's ever easy. Here's the map, the operations map. And it won't let me go to the rules. That's fantastic. Yeah, I told you I don't have it. You know that? Yeah. Oh, he just broke it. Oh, yeah, I didn't think that. I don't want to do this. I'm going to lie. There we go. There's your book. book. Okay. See, now this is computer, so it's not me doing it. <laughs> so the rules are only like 20 pages, so yay with that. We get dice. We get good counter sheets. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're your counter sheets. It looks like I'm doing not the computer, but yep, they're <laughs> the counter sheets. Oh, we have nice cards. Nice cards. They fell apart. More cards. Very nice. Nice. How to play. Oh, see how to play chart. Mission log. Oh, it fell over. <laughs> so that's that. And then the map he showed you. It's a hard come on map. I'll do it again, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh boy. See what happens when you have to one more You lose. I was so good at this at one point in time. Yeah. And then <laughs> I lost my mojo on it. Oh, well. Julian keeps taking it away. All right, now I can kind of show stuff. I guess nobody this. <laughs> I didn't like that. No, I didn't either. I never what else you got in there, Mr. Bill? Well, does Bill play every game at least once before sending it out? Um, yes, I actually. Let's talk about us. Yes, we do. No, does Bill? That's me. Yeah, they do too. But yes, I do. I actually, um, that might not have been the case years ago when we first started because we were whatever, because I had somebody else that was supposed to be doing that. But um, no, yes, I play everything. Even games I, and look, I, games, all the games are good, but some I have more interest in than others, obviously, because of you have that personal connection to some. But um, yeah, no, I, I, what happens is I get to play them um, because I'm not good with play testing. That that's garbage to me. Okay, with play testing stuff and doing it online. So when what I do is when I get the sample, is when I play the game. 
And then that's why there are times when, you know, there are times when we'll think something's ready to come out and we printed it. So we've got the sample and then I'll go in um, and it's gone through everybody else and we'll have to print a new, we'll have to print a new chart or print a new thing. And it gets, uh, it, um, it plays, it takes a little time, but that's why um, like victory at sea, um, some of those that were supposed to be out really got hung up at the time when I got the sample and we played it again and I played it and Julian and Billy played it again. And that's when we found some other stuff that needed to be adjusted. And one of them, I'm going to share a treat with you. You want to share a treat with them too? No. What? That's a real unboxing because I get two copies. Oh boy. What do we got, Mr. Bill? This is a real treat. It's right there. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh, open yeah, it. It's going to be a real unboxing, Bill. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Billy is always mean to me. <laughs> no. Ma said, oh, you better get this out from upstairs. Now, this is a true unboxing. See, because these are the samples I get that I play with. Okay? It's a big box. It's not a two... What is it three inch? three inch? I think that one's three. Yeah. yeah. We didn't think it was gonna be three, but it ended up being oh, three. three. Bill said it's three. Yep. Okay, there's the back. Shrink up. Now I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Right, oh, I did it. I haven't done one of these and oh, yeah, I gotta hold on forever. Right. Look. I'm picking up the show, show the evidence. Show the evidence. Okay. Now I'm going to open the box. It's a very heavy box. Oh, fuck. Look at the bloody names. I'm just no. saying it's uh -huh. a sample. Uh -huh. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to be in for a treat. You actually, you actually took it? No. I yes, don't. I did. I carried it. And the other stuff too. Uh, it was heavy, but oh, I did it. All the other ones too, right? No, I left those. Okay. Two of these. I might have that. What? I might have that. Yeah. A baggy. It is Christmas. Well, I got this. It was okay. Here are the rule book. Nice rule book. Yeah, very nice. And the, and the funny thing is, is I've actually, because I get two copies now, because I say I want to, okay? And I've actually found some things we're going to have to change. So um, th this is a perfect example of that I'm going through it, okay? I'm setting it up, I'm playing it, and I found some things that we have to change and clarify. So this is... See, there's the rule book, and it's only, and it, the good thing about this is it's got, like, some naval scenarios that let's use, um, and I think there's, like, five of them. Yeah, there's five, six naval, so it's naval, and so that's good, and then, obviously, there's the campaign, and here's the, here's the chart. For the campaign, one of them. And then here's another chart. And here's one for this, another chart. These are all setups. And then we have five campaign, we have five or six naval, and I think there's five or four. Um, land ones which are done on the um which we'll call it land They're done on the land bill set thank you for filling that in bill 
because I was at a freeze. I was like the computer. I froze. So there's more. Here's a nice little um, little terrain effects chart. Here's a nice Spanish American. Whatever that is. It looks like uh, oh, it's a uh, stuff. Another chart. Now this actually comes with um, random events. Those are um, A to Z. It looks like the alphabet. And then here are uh, the Spanish ones. Here's scenario nine, Puerto Rico setup. More stuff, more charts, more charts. And then these are the marking off, and that's what you use the markers for. So they're erasable. So that's good. Yeah, no, I think I mentioned Sea Power in the State is at the warehouse. We just have to find a place to put it in, but we're thinking what? Late summer, maybe? Yeah. yeah. But that's all I got for you. Okay, there's another one. Nice counters. I think, and they're big. I think they're five sevens. No. No, Bill said. No, we don't do five sevens, do we? Five eights. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we do. Yep. Jesus. That's great. <laughs> How many counters we got here? Um, I don't know. Three or four counter sheets. I can't remember. Now, these are what I like are new maps that we've been releasing. Which I love these maps. Yep. Nice thick paper ones. Yeah, these are the thick paper ones. So we have the paper ones for the land. For each of the island things, right, Bill? Sure. So that's that. And now we have another one. How's that? I can't see it. I can see it. Yeah, you got back up a little bit. A little bit to your right. Uh, left, my best. <laughs> see? And then, all of those. And then we have. The mounted main map. Oh, golly. Well, it is like a mix. Yeah, it's a mix of stuff. And then you got the mounted main map. How's that looking? Uh, uh, uh. It's on an angle. What you and mean? upside down. Upside down? It, no, like, it's just on an angle. It's on an angle. A cube is upside down. It's, it's not upside down, right? Yeah, it's not upside down. It's well, turn your head, turn around. That's not upside down, right? No, uh, it's, now it's sideways. What? what? Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. whatever. That's yeah. It. So Julian, that's ruined, Julian ruined it. So that is <laughs> Spanish American War. So we like that one. Okay, going very exciting. What? Very exciting. Yeah, so that's that. Right. Be careful the flame, yeah. Don't ask and the funny thing is, we did upgrade Julian's computer. We have we updated the internet service. That's why I said now cost me two hundred forty dollars. I'm gonna blame uh, Streamyard for that one. Well, okay. So that, yeah, oh uh, yeah, I thought it was two hundred forty a year. I didn't think it was a monthly two forty. <laughs> But if it was, I would never approve that. But that's what I do for upgrade in technology, Bill. Yeah. So if you would please put that back. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So those are those. So I'm excited about that one. What else we got? You showing anything else? Well, I was going to show this, but I don't think I am. Maybe we'll do it next time, Bob's I was going to show this. Oh, my God, so heavy. No one can see it. <laughs> ah. Burning banners. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, no, Mr. Lincoln, War, and Grand Army of the Republic aren't on the um, website yet. See? Rule book. Very nice. 
Oh, look. They're, they're like, um, this is like fancy stuff. Yeah, fancy stuff. And, oh, that's, the, this is, this is Bill in the warehouse when me and Julie, <laughs> well, Julian enter in. Well, forget that it's a girl, but that's how he, that's how he looks when we enter his space. No, not Julian. It's fine. <laughs> no, only when I'm with Bill. Yeah, yeah. Is that crazy? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I thought it was crazy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. I'm the next. Here's the campaign book. I mean, it's got a lot of scenarios, right? It does, yeah. Okay. I, don't think like I don't remember the number off the top of my head. This is like 60 pages. The rule book 60, and then the scenario book is 60. Yeah, but so this has got like, oh, my God, this got like 17 scenarios over here right yep yeah but i don't know what this stuff is this is extra stuff no that, this looks like campaign scenarios yeah. so it's got 17 plus 10 campaign scenarios so like 27 oh my good god and then here's a little comic book no, I don't think that, no, that's like a lore book but yeah, yeah comic book yeah. no that's it, no, it's not a comic book, but it tells, about the, it tells about the history of the fantasy yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, no, comic book, maybe not, but. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't. I can't be everything to everybody. Right. <laughs> See? Now, I. Now, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see what else. We got cards. Cards, see, deck of cards. I think there's 206 cards in there. 206 cards. We got more. Yep. We got more. Yeah, so and we got more. So we got a lot of cards. And these cards are only playable in the campaigns, right? They're not no, playing. No, no. Oh, no. no. It's, uh... You use them when it's a hard, if you want to play it harder. Yes. Yeah, there's the basic game and then there's the advanced game. Yeah, yeah in the oh, basic oh. game, you don't use it. There you go. In the big game, you use it. Yep. And this is uh, to that point. The basic game is only the first half of the rule book. So yeah. just to get started, it's really not that much. Yeah. You have to get into it. Oh, yeah. And, and look, the and rule it's book. Easy. It's easy. It's easy. Look, it's easy to learn. Yep. It's easy to learn, they said. Where's the rule book? See, the rule book is the one, two, four, five, 13 pages. All right, so it's talking about the markers. That's you. Yep. Yeah. See, so 13 pages are just talking about markers and stuff. So it's not that big of a rule book. And and it's very, um. you can see the print. It's not um, a lot of pictures, <laughs> no pictures, but it's like it's like old people sprint, <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, so yeah, whatever. Whatever. No, because it's fine. not. It, yeah, it's font. Old fine. font. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. <laughs> oh, look at these dice. These these look very cubed to me. They feel very cubed. I think I got no response from the peanut gallery. Okay. Oh, they are cubes, right? Yeah, see, these aren't. No, those are eight-sided. Yes, okay. No, some guy said he thinks Jut I thought Jutland only was Jutland. It didn't cover um, all other surface action in World War II, World War One. Jutland no. was just about Jutland. So it doesn't cover like actions in the Mediterranean or whatever, if there was any. Okay, now these are cards that aren't even used, so I don't know why I printed them. I have no idea. But we, at the office, we did a very interesting thing today. We took these and said, who do they remind us at the office? <laughs> no, they're not even known 90% of people. Well, I'm not going through it. Oh, God. I'm just telling them that's what we did with the cards because they serve no purpose in the game. They saw they serve no purpose in that part either. 
Uh, but Billy's been very mean to me today. Even right. Julian can say, right, no, Julian? That's not true. Julian? Julian yeah, has a little, uh, little short in the warehouse. Yes. Yeah, a little short. That's, that's, a little. That, he knows why. He knows why. But it was uncalled for. You got to let things go like I do. Yeah, yeah, right. But, <laughs> yes, Julian felt very uncomfortable because Billy, wa- because Billy wasn't joking around, wasn't having fun. Oh, stuff's got to get done. Yeah, stuff's got to get done, but you can always have fun. Okay. Now, I don't know what this is for. but it's for the cards. That's for the cards. Yep. And that's like a mounted board, too. It's not like a normal <laughs> yeah. card stock. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Jutlet does cover all over the world. Hmm. So I misspoke. See, it's thick. See? Can I do that, though, so they can see the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this is another thing. That's also thick. Thick? See, I'm giving you a thick. <laughs> now, this isn't thick. This is just a chart that opens up. Nice. Now, I don't know what these are, but God knows. Everybody wanted them, so I said, okay. I guess we stack stuff in here. So there's yeah. like six of these things. Every player gets one for their counters. So. Look at them all. There's many of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're thick. Look at them. So you even think on their own. Okay. Now we have a lot of counters here. So two counter sheets, three, four, five. How do we get seven? What the hell? That doesn't make sense. There it is. That's six right there. Jesus. Wait, I missed one? No, no, he's good. Billy Connor, He's falling around. Oh, there Yeah, a few. A few thought that yeah, was a fucking yeah. no. creeper. Okay. I'm good. This, this is I'm off my one. Watch it there. Joe, oh, look, it's right here, Bill. Please put it in. Okay. Now, these are the maps. Yeah, these are easier, but there's four of them. Now, you're not going to recognize the place because this, these aren't real. So this is a fantasy game. Can I see it? Yeah, you can go back a little bit. Up a little bit. Okay. There you go. You gonna see, you gonna see, see, that's just one. And there's four of them. So that is burning fingers. And there's four maps. And they're all mounted. See? So when you put them all together, that's pretty thick there. Yeah. See? One, two. So that is our first fantasy game. So now you got to pack it back up. A little more clarification on Jutland there. Covers actions worldwide up through Jutland, including some hypotheticals. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't know that. Because when I look at the maps... I guess it makes sense because the maps are just blue hexes. Yeah, it's all just water. It's yep. just all water. So I guess it makes sense because you can do whatever you want. Okay. I hope Jack asserts some pressure on Ian Wedge to read some encounter art to his QT stuff. No, um, the counters are done. So whatever the artwork for Jutland is that you see online is the artwork that Jutland is. Do we have Tumlin's artwork online? Uh, I think so. Let me take a look. Yeah, so so that's not going to change. Now, I know we're working on Iron Bottom, too. Aren't we working on that one? Yes. Yep. So that's pretty good. And like I said, when artwork, see, see, people people might think something different, but artwork is a collaboration of the designer, the artist, the developer, okay? 
Compass um, doesn't really, corporately, we don't get really involved in the artwork, okay? That that only happens when there's an agreement that nobody can agree on, okay? But usually it's just a designer, developer, and um, artist all working together over a period of time. And then I think there's only been maybe, wait, maybe two or three times that we've overridden things on them, okay? Not often. No, not often, Julian said. All the Jutland stuff is on the website. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that, that's how we work it. Okay, we don't, um, because, again, artwork is very subjective. So, you know, I got artwork where some people like it, some people don't. And um, I, I look at some of the famous paintings out there and some of the famous artwork <laughs> over the course of history, and I wouldn't give you a dime for it. And then other people say, oh, it's beautiful. So it's all subjective, and um, so that's why we leave it to the three, and usually they work it out. So we've never had um, any issues, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, so that's it. So. What? What Bill said to me today, right now, what did you say, Bill? What game are you giving away? He said, what game are we giving away? That's a good question. What game do you want to give away, Bill? I don't know. Star Wars 2. I'll say the other one. Anyway. Bill wants to. What other one? <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to say that. Bismarck. We didn't give Bismarck away. Well, that the, the story, no, Star Steel was first. Star Steel just went, was went out after. Bismarck was, Bismarck was first. Yeah, but that was the monster. I, I think we did give it away. Oh, okay. We're doing Storm of Steel, Bill yeah. said. All right, before we go on to that, let me try one more time to show uh, Lords of the Seas. Oh, yeah. Wow, people had a lot to do today, didn't we? Sometimes we don't do anything, and this time we really... Oh, we don't get a chance to. <laughs> we were really into a big... Um... Like, there we go. Now it works. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. I didn't see that. So here's a box cover. This is the game that me and Billy uh, started playing and are kind of actively playing and testing it out. Here's your back of the box. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's look at that back of the box, young fella. <laughs> See here, it's one to six players, but two is optimal. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is two and a half hours. The scenarios are pretty short, each individual scenario. There's a way you can play as a campaign, too. <laughs> Not a ton of components in here, so this shouldn't be too long. Well, let's see them. Here we have the, some counters. Well, I can't see them. So these belong to yes. different groups and are used based on what scenario you're playing. So, for instance, the scenario that Billy and I are playing, we are using uh, Persia and Athens and the, the Greeks. So here you have Persia, Athens, ah. Sparta, Syracuse. I like, different, I like the pink. Were you the pink? No, it's Persia. No, we were using a, was Persia. just like orange and blue. Yeah, and he was Athens. Who did this game? Not Ilya. Oh, Ilya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Stephen Newberg is the yeah. designer. Check it for Genoa here, Rome. Because <laughs> one time I saw a spider. How many counter sheets? No, they're just counters. Three. Blocks. Yeah, no, there's just counters, not blocks. Yep, just counters. And then the back. <laughs> They all kind of look the same because it's supposed to be a, it's kind of a hidden movement type thing. So you don't know what's in each fleet until you go to search for them in battle. And all of these, <clears throat> all these squadrons are in, typically in fleets. And then you organize them by these fleet markers down here on the bottom left. I like that. Mm -hmm. Here we have the map. I like the map. I really like the map. I think you did a great job. And these are split up into different uh, different types of seas, I guess, and you can go into either open water, coastal water. Coastal water is easier to move into. It's only one movement point. There's restricted water. 
Yeah, you like that though? Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's unbelievable. Here we have a battle board. It's where you empty out the fleet when you're found and you actually go to battle. These organizer fleets. Battle board and fleet for the second player. Oh, Scenario man. book. So you can see there's a bunch of different scenarios you can play. Holy smokers. Yeah, he did a lot of them. This is the one that we were playing. We just played the first one. Hmm. That's 16 pages worth. Looks like all white pages. Mm -hmm. No, I just scrolled through them too fast. And our rules, also only 16 pages, so very short. And last thing is the player aid. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. That we like cool. that, and it's a, it's a game that we don't have a lot of in that era at all. So I think no. that, yeah, last gamble is probably, um, I would say, June or July will be shipping. Oh, you like that though? Mm -hmm. So, any questions, get them in because we're going to um, do the which we we'll call it. Yep, get the hashtag town halls in too if you haven't already. Yeah, because I think we're trying to get um, Aaron Armour out before the convention, but it might be, it might slip after that. And then. Um, any more Spanish Civil War games on the radar? I don't think so. Manassas is moving along. I know it's wrapping up and should go to Brittany within the next couple of weeks, so we're really close with that one. So that's good. Um, what else you got, Bill? Nothing. So let's get the last questions, and then we'll call it. We'll do the thing, and then we'll call it a night. Yep. I should say Lord of the Seas is also in Brittany's... Uh queue for reviewing so hopefully be going to print soon yes that's correct Julian anything new on the Ted Razor yeah um like I said that that's one where we're gonna combine both games Red Storm of the Reich and Storming the Reich into one box Okay, but Steel Wolves is a – we're really dividing up between we, – we got three categories of game. We have many categories of game, but there are three um, what I call like um, reprint games. We got GDW, Command, and then our own. Okay, so it really – and then we got all the other stuff. So – Right now, GDW is in the lead with a lot of those. Okay, we got a lot of that done. Um, like I said, Steel Wolves are being worked on. Then we have, I think we're going to redo Cod Kings, um, Red Storm <coughs> over the Reich. Um, End of Empire is moving along, and we're going to call it, the, if I'm not mistaken, the 250th um, anniversary of the American Revolution. It's that it's going to be that edition. It's going to be very limited. Okay, it's not going to be a big print run because I think next year is the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution. Right, 2025? Well, 1776, so pretty close. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, it started in 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, start of the revolution or anything? Conquer, yeah, so that, that so next year we're going to do that, uh, and it's going to have mounted maps. It's going to have all the games in it. And that's End of Empire. That, and that's moving along. That's an artwork. Right? I never saw the new counters, Julian, the new colors. For which one? End of Empire. Nobody saw me in the new colors. The lightened ones? Yeah, nobody showed them to me. I don't have them yet. No, then that's why. 
Got a few more. Yeah, 2026 was when Declaration of Independence happened. But we're going to say the start was 17, it was Lexington, wasn't that in 75? Yeah. So that's what we're going with. Yeah, Lexington Concord. So that's what we're going with. We're going to say it's the 250th anniversary edition of and so it's End of Empire. And I think we're only printing like maybe 400, 300 or whatever. So that's pretty good. So we're doing that. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So we have three categories. And we've really been focused on GDW. The next, And we've got some coming out of our own. And then the next thing is command. We've got to work on that. Right, Julian? Yep. Okay. I think we're pretty much stalled out at uh, okay. our town hall. Yep. Give okay, so let's go. All right, which one are we doing again? Storm of Steel. Storm of Steel. Yeah. Share my screen. Oh, uh, command will be in boxes because there'll be like three or four command magazine magazine games in boxes. So it's gonna be box command will be in boxes. Yay for us, yay for us. All right. So for Storm of Steel. Uh oh look at no. Paul is our winner. Congratulations, Paul. Send an email to sales at compassgames.com, giving him your uh, address and what you want, and he'll send that out to you. Well, so I have to say that um, we had a lot of stuff we did tonight, so that's good. We were I was in a good mood, so I'm um, very talkative tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes I'm not. But tonight I was. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in two weeks. And who's going to be here, John? I think so. Yeah, so we'll be seeing you in two weeks. Have a good two weeks. Have a good Easter. Yep. Right? Easter's coming up next week. Yep, have a good Easter, everyone. Yep, and we'll see you in two weeks. And take care. Yep. Yeah, I like right. that, Bill. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah.